Humila City. Oh my, you're in Humila City. That's one of the nicest resort areas in the Unova region. I was only at the Pokemon Center in that town for a short while. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time we arrived in Humilao City and now we gotta challenge the gym leader because he doesn't feel like helping us fight terrorists who just bombed the biggest city in Unova because we don't have his gym badge. Let's get to it. Yeah, like I said, not the biggest fan of this place. How do you like riding on leaves? If you manage to beat me, I'll teach you something good. You'll see. Well, no, I like the place. This is a gorgeous gym and also a candidate for some of the best graphics in a Nintendo DS game. That water was nice. Ace Trainer, Doyle. Ace Trainer, Doyle. Sent out, Floatzel. The gym here is full of new Pokemon that we've never seen. I think that this is possibly the biggest collection of missable battles that you would want to fight, so err on the side of caution, fight every single trainer that you can. McFly, you're using Thunder Punch, not too strong of a move, but it looks like it's just enough. Floatzel is just flail enough. I was trying to say frail enough and make a pun, it didn't really. Mantine, you're quad weak, even better. I don't even care that you got a lot of HP and special defense, I'm punching you instead. This'll take you out. Nice and easy, good. I was worried that McFly wasn't gonna be able to hold his own in this gym because he's not fully evolved. Thunder Punch is definitely falling off in terms of power. I lost, now just to climb aboard and leave and be swept away somewhere else. Just go with the flow, man. That'll push that one, and then we can go up. And then this one will stop us. We don't have to fight you, could always time our way. It is said that the water will not grow stagnant as long as it keeps flowing. The sparkles on that water are awesome, so long as I keep moving forward. The power of suggestion by just having one pixel look different than the pixels around it, it's used to great effect here. They did such an awesome job. They were masters of making 2.5D games on the DS by the time this one rolled around, and the technical achievement is awesome. Fooey and people that say that Pokemon games never push systems hardware. The real-time mechanics in Gold and Silver were amazing for the time. They put extra hardware in the damn cartridge to make it so the system could handle it. That was stuff that games like Star Fox and Yoshi's Island were doing in the years prior. Of course Pokemon games have pushed systems hardware. This is a great example of that, and I think it's kind of a shame, though, because, um, you know, with them having to learn how to make games on a 3DS and then eventually a Nintendo Switch, I just kind of feel like they felt behind a little bit, you know? Uh, this is all getting into territory of some pretty unpleasant topics that a lot of people just don't really like talking about, though. But I'm just saying, this game looked pretty great. It's an example of why I think the series is awesome for that. Another way that I think Pokemon is impressive on a technical level is just the logistics of making a game that has hundreds of playable characters, all with their own move pools and different combinations of abilities and stuff like that. I couldn't even imagine the size of a design doc for a game like this. It's... It's well beyond my pay grade, I'll just say that, and... Well, is it really? I guess I do kind of talk about this stuff for a living, so is it not... You know what I mean. It's just, I'm very impressed, though, because even if it's not part of the technical performance, I'm tickled that I won't have to hold anything back as a reward. <laughs> what I'm saying is that, especially back in the Game Boy days, games just were not that detailed. Pokemon has so much to learn about it. I will never know everything about Pokemon, and I don't think anyone else will either. There's always endlessly more things to learn about it. There's strategies that are not realized for years. There's... So much to it. I think it's kind of impressive that game-breaking strategies don't slip through more often than they do. Now, Thunder Punch, are you gonna be able to... Look at that swagger, wow. I need to answer a question right here and now if they're gonna be using Wall Reigns and probably Celios against us too. Thunder Punch, 75 power. Brick Break is 75 power. Okay, yeah, that answers that question easily. Thunder Punch is definitely the better of the two moves to be using right now. Good. Damage range, damage range, damage range, damage range, damage range, damage range! Oh, critical hit. Oh. I was rooting for the wrong two words, but it still worked out to come out the same way. That gave a lot of experience points, got it to level 48. What an impressive force, what a trainer. How's our team looking? Aiden's not gonna be useful in this gym at all. Pignati is a freaking joke. <laughs> At least Aiden's immune to water type damage. You have Brick Break and Rock Slide. That could be useful in a few situations. Harmony, you haven't done any worthwhile battling. I always bring a Pokemon with me from an in-game trade that I don't mean to bring with me to a gym, and it always works out like that.
When I win, and even the impossible happens and I lose, I analyze one of my battles to grow even stronger. Do you think you can beat someone like me? Yeah, I think I can take you. We'll do it. So water type Pokemon are known for their frustrating defenses and how safe they are. They're only weak against electric and grass types and they just sort of work against everything. Water is only resisted by dragon, grass, and, well, other water types. When most water types can learn ice moves to cover some of those weaknesses. It's sometimes, it's kind of weird though because it's so powerful because it's so simple. And I feel like in a lot of cases, in a lot of Pokemon games, the grass type starter ends up being the challenging option just because in pretty much any situation where grass is good, water is just better. Grass has got all these weaknesses you gotta worry about. At this point in the series, it didn't have immunity to powder moves. There were a lot of downsides to picking a grass type and water types could just deal with those same situations a lot safer and be effective on the same sorts of Pokemon. It's kind of weird how similar they made the two types and they never really adjusted them until X and Y, despite them both being starter types. Waylord, and I'm at plus two. Eat it, nerd! He really does look like some kind of bus just heading straight for you, like a grill and... Those kind of look like double-decker windows on top. Yeah, take him out. I want to ride away on my Pokemon so I can't ponder why I lost. So wistful, so inspirational. And then I can... I need to go up this way. Yeah, I need to go there. And then I can hop aboard this one. Uh, or can I? Can I hop aboard that? Um, no. uh, uh, Blaze, honey, deer, can, can, can you just like jump a little bit? Like, you jump there. If you could just like jump uh, in a slightly different way, not when you're off, okay, fine. I guess if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's fine. Well, we'll go here. That opens up the pathway there. We can find another ace trainer. Thing about water is that it's always changing. From the piercing strength of a jet to the crushing power of a wave. That's what I'm about to show you. Such high confidence among these trainers, Marlin, you have trained them well. Even if I don't agree with your ideals about what you think about people bombing cities, have I brought that up enough times? A Golduck. A Golduck. Made so many jokes about you. I wish Psyduck and Golduck were good in this game, man. I, I was so excited when I heard that Psyduck was gonna be an early game option, and I remember even using it in a personal playthrough, thinking that, oh yeah, that's gonna be great for Route 4 with the sandstorms around, having a water type that beats all the rock types around there and doesn't get hurt by the sandstorms. No, it's really not. It's so bad. It's just so weak and doesn't really pay off all that well. The one time that I used Psyduck in this game, I ditched it because it was just that poor. Level 49 for Harmony. We're almost getting to the big 5-0. And Starmie. Do another Energy Ball. It'd be just as effective as Shadow Ball in this situation, so I don't regret my move set at all. Even lower the special events. Give me Swift. You don't have any move that's effective on me, do you? The rest of your move set is probably Rapid Spin and Psychic and then some status move, isn't it? You make me sick. Starmie should never have trouble with type coverage. What strength? You're just as strong as Marlin, or perhaps even stronger. A compliment from Sable means the most to an Animal Crossing fan such as me. We'll head down. Get over to you. Ah, oh, I see how this all goes. To be clear as water, that is the style that I seek. Compare this gym man to Crasher Wake's gym that was the in the first game on the same hardware, and it's night and day difference with how the water looks and how atmospheric of a place it is. And it's a similar concept. Crasher Wake's gym was also moving across water by using rafts. It was just nowhere, it's just nowhere, it's not even in the same league as this. It's so much better. Heh, <laughs> league, water. We'll take out Basculin with a nice attack. Oh God, no oh, geez, okay. Um, this got bad, you probably have crunch. I'm gonna swap out. It's just not worth it. I gotta remember, Jade is good for defense. She might not be good offensively, but her defensive stats are pretty decent. I know she's at like half health, so maybe this isn't the best way to illustrate this point, but you can switch into a double edge. We're both gonna faint, aren't we? No! Shoot, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jade's good for defense. Her offense might be kind of lacking, but she does have genuine qualities like that. You're gonna, hmm. The last one did scary face in turn one. I'm gonna wager that you'll do the same and we'll go for a dragon pulse. 
And if I don't quite two shot you, no, no, we're good. A double edge. The thing I don't know is if I can take two of them. No, I can't. <laughs> Ouch. We'll send out. We'll send out Pignati. <laughs> Shoot, why not? Basculin's not that fast. Even if you got Aqua Jet, you're probably not gonna KO me. I got tons of health. Let's make it so you get to do at least something in this gym. Brick, brick. Soak. <laughs> what? What? What is this stupidity? <laughs> what? You should have your Ace Trainer license revoked. What is? You made me a water type. What are you doing? You outsped me and you chose to make me a water type. This is so stupid. I don't need to use Bulldoze. I think Brick Break really is the most solid option. I'm gonna stay out. You made me a water type. <laughs> I got flames coming out of my shoulder blades and I don't have to worry about a thing. You're just slowly recovering health. I'll beat you in a war of attrition, I swear it. Your Azumarill's got superpower. That's not gonna KO, I'm fine. Yeah, Rocky Helmet time. Yeah! <laughs> the water type Embor takes it all. When I lose, I feel I might just disappear. What else do you have to say for yourself, man? I gotta hear this. I may have been the one to lose, but I'm still gonna go ahead and say it. You should definitely seek his style. Everyone else has a his or her own style. <laughs> Kid, you need to get a new style. <laughs> what was that battle? That was amazing. All right, well, I guess we're here or something. <laughs> we need to heal up. All right, we're here. I got my strategy figured out. I always talk to you guys from the front. Let's stand on equal footing. I think I'm relatively equal to you having seven badges. Sorry, I just really wanted to look at that water because I like the color that it is. The whole green-blue look that some water has is just gorgeous to me. Sup? You are ready, huh? You look strong? Shoots! Let's start! I don't think I've ever heard anyone say shoots before. And that just makes me think of the voice acting in NBA 2K15 when the guy's like, that was sweets to see. Go look it up if you haven't. The game is glorious voice acting. It's so bad. Kara Costa is the lead of our gym battle. Yep, I'm using Big Naughty because it worked out so well for me last time. Kara Costa is level 49, water rock type, sturdy for its ability, so we gotta do at least two hits. And it's with the moves, Smackdown, Shell Smash, Scald, and Crunch. I knew you'd go for that, so I went for a speed dropping move to hopefully outspeed you next turn too. With your defense down, dude, you're really into this, huh? We'll go for a brick break. The way you slid into battle, right? They're just skidding along the ground in your foot. I gotta say, respect the style. It's the one thing about you that we can actually agree. <laughs> My strategy is actually working. That's amazing. Waylord is up next. Some of the highest HP of any Pokemon and the biggest to match. Water type, Water Veil for its ability, Amnesia, Scald, Roll Out, and Bounce. Cause you got bounce. I don't know that I can hit you with rock slide. I don't think that's a move that hits flying Pokemon. I'm just gonna go. This is a rare. This is a rare case where heat crash is actually not the good option. Uh, yeah, you're not faster than me. I'm just gonna go for the brick brick and see where it goes. Wow, that was good. So I'm left with a dilemma here. If he's got an item, he's definitely gonna pop it if I don't get a good damage range. So I think I'd be better off going for the rock slide and hoping that I flinch him this turn to just combo him down. That, wow! That did more damage than I thought. I still got the, okay, sure. I get to try for a better damage range on my first hit this time. Not yellow health, unfortunately. I'm gonna just go for it, see what it gets me. Please, 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 no! It was, it was going so good! Pignati! Pignati, oh my god, you're doing amazing, dude! 
You've taken out two thirds of the water type gym leader's team all by yourself. His last Pokemon, Jellicent. Aw, oh, dude, I know I'm not dumb, but I'm just so, just so pumped up. Level 51, Water Ghost type, Curse Body for its ability, holding a Citrus Berry, it's the last Pokemon, with the moves Brine, Recover, Scald, and Ominous Wind. Basically, anything you hit me with is just going to finish me off. Your Ghost type, so my usual Brick Break ain't gonna work. So I think my best bet is a Rock Slide combo. How am I faster than all of your Pokemon? I know that they're not particularly fast, but I mean, I'm a freaking fat pig. Now it's Brine time. Saying that to make myself feel better about losing to it. What are Aiden's moves? You have Shadow Ball, you have Shadow Ball, you have Shadow Ball, you have Shadow Ball. I should have switched into Aiden. What was I doing? I could have done this without losing a single Pokemon. Get out there, boy! Show him what you're made of! Ominous Wind is the only thing that you can do for me besides recover spamming. We got this in the bag! I got the critical hits. There's the Citrus Berry getting popped. We're basically back to square one at the beginning of the turn. Special drop, I think, is going to be necessary for this to be a two-hit KO from here. Shadow Ball! I have to say, I respect you. You're putting up a good fight here. God, why didn't I switch out, man? I should have thought of that, but Aiden had Shadow Ball. It's been a while since I've played, like I said, so I apologize if my memory is not the greatest. I'm also just really getting up there like the grandpa I am. I'm like 33. It's, it's fine. Eh, I didn't need the special drop. Nice! It's an easy win. How close am I to that level? You totally rock that. You're raising some wicked Pokemon. You got this trainer thing down. You don't just look strong. You're strong for reals. Eh, I was swept away too. Oh yeah, yo, uh, I was so surprised. Uh, I forgot. I gotta give this to you. <laughs> Drum beat always gets me so pumped up every time I hear it. And now I'll never hear it again. That's the last fifth generation badge. We received the wave badge from Marlin. That's the wave badge. The Unova region's new gym badge. Pretty sweet, right? Uh, now that you got all eight gym badges, so you can be tight with any Pokemon. Oh yeah, I got a TM for you too. TM55 Scald! One of the best moves of all time. I've, I've talked about how good this move is in the past. Now that we can just teach it to Pokemon with a TM, in a word, yes. So, Skaltonize burns target, okay? Uh, oh, and uh, you can even use it when you're all frozen and chilling and stuff. Shoots, uh, I'm off then. Hope it's useful. His hair being a shark's fin when he's under the water is pretty neat, I gotta say. Though I can't really imagine that's good for your lap splits. One last look at this lotus place. Nice looking gym, if nothing else. We're busting out that TM right frickin' now because I got something to show you. 80 power, 100 accuracy, 30% chance of burns. Pignotti can learn it! <laughs> That's so dumb! I. I get that it's a burning move, but the fact that Pignati can shoot water from his armpits, it's... <laughs> I... I love that. Uh, I think Bulldoze is kind of the most underwhelming move you got right now. I was using it to my advantage in that last fight, so... Maybe I'm a little down, more down on it than I should be, but we got ground-type moves across the rest of our party. Scald it is. That is such a damn good move that if you don't know what else to do on a given turn of battle, just do it. It probably will work. Harlan's swimming around, isn't he? He's like the mom who's like so tired of her son's antics and is just chasing him around all the time. <laughs> she, he's, he's, uh, he's his keeper. You got all the badges, you're really something. Usually you'd go to the Pokemon League now, but dealing with Team Plasma comes first. Sup, yeah? What's this Team Plasma you're talking about do? Team Plasma does things like steal my sisters. I mean, people's Pokemon. They're planning on conquering the Unova region by using Pokemon to freeze it solid. They're really evil. Haven't you heard of him, Marlin? Nope. When the ocean's your home, you don't worry about things like that. Cause the ocean accepts all rivers. So you think Team Plasma's bad that- uh, Yeah! I get it. The bad, so you fight him. But first, you gotta say that in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you wanna do and what you're hoping for. 
Well then. Man, I don't know if that guy is laid back or just irresponsible. That's got me, that's got me dead. That, that kind of got me down. But our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus. But before that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route 22, got it? Let's go and heal. Metal, 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 no. I'm running low on metals that I'm just going to passively earn. We're definitely getting into the curve. I think if I can get just 10 more medals or so, I'll have more medals than my personal save file from back in the day, which to me is real exciting. So, that's eight whole gym badges. We're out of the preseason. This is the playoffs. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we begin our search of the area for Team Plasma. See you guys then.